guys, so I'm obviously in a different area of my house. Um, so I had a lot of re- Ow, what the hell? I've had a lot of requests to do, like, health video- Anyway, so I've had a lot of requests- Holy shit! To do, like, health videos and, like, stuff like that. So, what I wanted to do today is show you some alternatives to working out rather than going to the gym. Um, first of all, I'm actually gonna talk about what you should drink after your workout and before, it doesn't really matter. But make sure you have water. Sorry, that almost tipped over. Make sure you have water. This is my water, it has lemon in it. Lemon helps your skin, body, appetite, not be as strong. I use, it's all over the freaking table. I use the Arbonne Essentials Vanilla Protein Shake Mix. This is what it looks like. They are pretty expensive, but we get them for free because my mom's a personal trainer. Oh, it smells so good. And you just take two scoops of that, put it in a blender, put a banana in the blender. Also, if you want, you can take peanut butter. I like this kind of peanut butter. It is called it's gonna get really freaking messy up in his house. But I like this kind of peanut butter because you mix it with water and it's a lot healthier for you. Uh, PB2, so um, definitely go research that and it's on this label. I'm gonna get in so much trouble for getting this table dirty. Whatever. So I'm gonna start with workouts. I'm sorry if the quality isn't very good. Um, at the moment, I don't have a tripod. So I'm doing this by hand, whatever. So there's this program called P90X, and it is an all-around amazing program. The Ab Ripper X, and it might sound a little intimidating to some of you people, because like Ab Ripper, it doesn't really rip your abs, it just honestly like kills your abs, which is good. You want that for your abs, right? So the, um, the guy, he looks like my dad. Sorry, dad. He really does. I don't know his name. Ted? Is it Ted? He's very, very good at what he does. He's a little weird. But he's just a great instructor. In the Ab Ripper is he just gives you, I think, 11 different types of ab workouts and then you do 25 each one. But every other day, you'll get better and better each day time because you get used to it and it just trust me it feels a lot better I haven't done it in a while but um, I've been starting it back with it so yeah I'm gonna actually show you a little clip of mr. weirdo don't know his name still I'm gonna show you right now reps we got in and outs five four three two here we go and one and two five ten. come on 15, working hard. 16, Jason, I'm coming to you. Thank you very much. Let's do a little stretch. So anyways, that is a little clip from my computer. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to put a clip from a clip into this clip. Anyway, so that is the P90X Ab Ripper. Also, they have the plyometrics. They have, like, all different types of stuff with, like, home weights and stuff like that. Another good one is Just Dance. It kind of is if you do it by yourself, so grab some friends and go do that. Because now that I think about it, when I do it by myself, I kind of feel like, okay, I'm dancing by myself. Definitely try Just Dance also. Another good option is to do just regular abs on your mat or do push-ups, different types of push-ups, and I'm gonna show you that right now. Because I have had surgery on my wrists, I'm going to show a modification type of way to do push-ups and um, different activities with your wrists. And also, I'm going to show you some exercises up and down the stairs because I don't have weights here at home, so I, don't really, I can't really show you what to use with that. One day, I will do a workout video in my mom's studio, but unfortunately, she most likely has her keys for her studio. That's not possible. So I'm gonna get started with the um, mat exercises. Okay, so first of all, um, you want to just get like a regular yoga mat because it's a really hard floor. I'm on my wood floor. But first of all, I'm going to pull down my pants. So. 
First of all, what you want to do is you want to definitely stretch. And um, thank God you can't see my socks because I have two different socks on. See, two different socks, cupcakes and hearts. You want to stretch, so obviously put one leg over the other and you just want to stretch your back and your hamstrings. Especially for our exercise, what we're doing next. I wish I could film at the gym, but I don't think they would let me. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this. What not, just stretch in a little bit. So you wanna get on your back like this. Hopefully you can see me. If not, this is awkward. And you just wanna do regular crunches Now, when you're done with those, you can either listen to Ted on P90X or you can just go into push-ups too. Okay, the push-ups I do for my wrists, I just go on top of my knuckles and I go on my knees and I just go down like that. If you do have wrist problems, you definitely want to do this. If not, then you can just do the regular push-up. But you want to do at least 10 of these and then when you're done with those, you can go back into your crunches. Then after that, you want to go back into your crunches and you want to switch it up a little each time so you have that heart rate going. So I'm going to just do Russian twists and what you do is you lock your fingers up and again, I learned this from what's his name on P90X. You just want to lock your fingers and tap each side of the mat like this. At least 40 of these. And then once again, you want to get back on your wrists, knuckles, whatever, your fists. That's what it is, your fists. And you want to go back into your push-ups. Again, if you don't have wrist problems, you can still go on your hands and put your uh, knees on the floor too. But, I don't know, that's a little easier. But I can't do all the way like that. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> So you can keep your knees on the floor and just go down. And the whole time that you're going down on those push-ups, you want to make sure that your abs are really tight or else you can pull your back. So those are some ab and like arm exercises that you can do. I also suggest you doing, if you do have a ball, like those big blow-up balls, you can put your feet against the wall and just do abs like that. Or you can just stick to the floor like I do. So I also wanted to show you some um, stair exercises. So let's go to that. Hey guys, so I know it's kind of hard to see the stairs, but I'm just going to explain to you how I do my exercises when I do use stairs. First of all, if you just want to run up and down them, that's fine. It'll give you the same cardio as if you were like jumping, but jumping gives you a more gives you more tone to your legs. So first of all, if you are just starting with jumping, all you want to do is just jump on the shortest step, if that makes sense. So you don't have to skip steps. I know you can't really see me. It's just hard to do. You can jump more than one step, but these are kind of steep. So going one at a time is a lot better than hurting yourself. Make sure you swing your arms so you give that momentum to your body. Another one is going sideways. So you can go sideways up the stairs and then it'll give you a good calf workout. As for going down the stairs, you definitely want to keep your abs sucked in as well because even though you're going down, you still have a lot of weight carrying yourself down the stairs. So definitely keep your abs sucked in, your back straight and shoulders back. And you want to do little steps while you go down. These are really, really bad stairs to show you guys. But I thought this would be a good little preview of what I do at the stairs, let's say, at the college next to my house. Hey guys, so the lighting is a little weird, but I wanted to give you this angle of how to go up the stairs and how to go down the stairs. So when you want to go up the stairs when you're jumping, you just want to jump one at a time, especially if they're really steep. And you want to swing your arms back so you have that momentum. As for going down, I have a huge light right here. But as for going down the stairs, you just want to keep your abs in really tightly and just walk normally. 
And same going up the stairs. You just want to keep your arms up and go as fast as you can. So going up the stairs, you just want to, when you're running, you just want to keep your arms going and make sure you don't fall. Also, you could skip steps like I do going upstairs. So if you do skip steps, be careful not to fall over yourself because I've done that a million times. Last week I had a bowl of pasta in my hands. I was running upstairs and boom, down with pasta. It was a tragic moment. So I just want to show you guys how you could use your stairs in your own house to have a good workout because I'm breathing extremely hard. So obviously you know that was a good workout. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little demo of what I did there. I showed you some protein. I showed you some peanut butter. I showed you some tapioca that I'm going to eat in a second. Yum. I also showed you P90X, which is with, I have no idea what his name is. There is also the yoga mat with the abs and the push-ups at the same time to get your heart rate going and to get that belly flat. Also the stairs that I sometimes do, sometimes don't, but I usually do it at the college that's right next to my house. So um, as for the stairs, I know the lighting was kind of off, so if you guys have any questions about that, definitely let me know. And so I wanted to explain the next video I'm doing, hopefully soon, it's going to be in my mother's studio where she has weights and stuff and like uh, balls and like spinning um, bike, like stationary bikes and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to show you all of that. But if you do have any questions about like any fitness routines, anything like that, just let me know and I will surely to get back to you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.